Hello Libra, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I'm here for your February of 2019 monthly reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon and Rising. So if this does not resonate, check your Moon, check your Rising um, because that may resonate a little bit more with you. Um, if this is your first time here, thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and if you're a frequent flyer, welcome aboard again. We're going to take quite the ride. You guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And let's get into the reading. Libra. Y'all are all over the place. Usually, my quite balanced Libras. I think I see where you're going this month. Um, but it's going to be a little bit of a journey, so just ride along with me for a minute, okay? Overall energies, uh, I have the Five of Crystals feeling left out in the cold a little bit. Um, actually, I feel like you're kind of coming out of that. That's been the January energy, feeling like you're the only person that understands you. You're not. Um, other people just aren't getting it, right? Um, that it feels like you're like the lone crusader or you're somehow uh, defending all Libras everywhere, right? It's like people, you're just feeling a little bit misunderstood. But I feel like that's coming, you're kind of coming out of it. There's a little bit of residual happening in February, but not a lot. And we also have the Queen of Wands. So I do see a lot of self-esteem coming in and being very sure, like, okay, you know what? Like, this kind of, like, I'm really passionate about some things. I'm going to go after it. Um, we do also have the Perspective card. Your perspective is going to change and shift throughout this month. And then we have the Queen of Cups, which is kind of, yes, this is the card of Cancer. But I feel like that also embodies you as well you know um you're very loving and very kind and we also have the eight of wands so you are moving you're definitely taking some forward movement towards a serious change in your life which is the tower then represented so this is going to be an interesting ride this month let's go on it together the first week we have the knight of crystals which is like the knight of pentacles i am using the star child tarot deck be very careful I think you're, you're moving towards uh, this situation very carefully. You're moving towards, if it's an individual, you're moving towards them very carefully, cautiously. Um, if it's a business um, or something to do with your life purpose, do take cautionary steps. Don't just rush in, uh, which you typically don't. Um, so that's fine and that because that's going to bring you a lot of peace in this situation. You're not feeling very confident about it just yet. So that's why I'm saying don't rush in. Okay. What is that old saying? Fools rush in. So don't rush in. Um, that's right. Because the only way you're going to feel good about the whole situation at the end of the whole deal is if you didn't rush in at the beginning. Okay. Um, and um, don't be afraid with the Eight of Cups to leave behind stuff that doesn't fit. If there's a narrative, if there's an emotion, if there is, uh, if someone is just kind of like putting themselves out there and saying, hey, you know, like they're trying to hold you back or you feel like they're trying to hold you back or um, it's just like if you're having thoughts, um, like memories from the past, from childhood of when folks would tell you you were not enough, and you couldn't succeed or that you needed to be succeed in this way and not this way. Not the way is your passion and your purpose. You know what? Walk away from it. Dust 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 your shoulders off. Call it a day, guys. Don't don't let it eat you up. Okay? Um the second week we have uh, of uh, February, the wheel turning in your favor. That's really good. I think you're going to start to see some things come into fruition. With the Three of Swords, you're going to get over some disappointments that you felt. Let it go, Libra. Don't hold on to it. Like, you got to let that crap go. They did what they did. They're going to do what they're going to do. And, you know, let the disappointment go. Look at them through the eyes of unconditional love. And always remember, people always get back what they put in, right? Um, with the Ace of Wands, you yourself are going on a very passionate. You're starting something brand new. You're very passionate about it. Um, or if you just have a renewed passion about your existing purpose or what you're doing right now. And so don't, you can't let other people like really ride you, um, or bring you down. 
With the Three of Crystals, um, I do see where this renewed passion is going to ignite potentially in this other person. If you're able to get over the, if you're able to get past the disappointment of whatever it was they didn't do correctly or you felt like they should have been more dedicated towards the situation, they should have had more at stake because they truly did, they didn't put as much into it and they're getting, they're reaping the benefits. Libra, not everybody puts in exactly 50% into a situation. And sometimes some people's 50% is not the same you're saying 50%. Sometimes their 50% is prayer or support or you don't know what they've been doing. You know, maybe they're doing moon rituals or something. You know what I mean? Like, who knows what they've been doing? Um, but they've been supporting the situation. It's just not necessarily in a way that you necessarily thought that it should happen. It doesn't always have to happen that way, Libra. So I think that's where we need to get over this support. But your this disappointment, but your renewed passion about this project is going to renew the passion in your partner as well. Okay. Third week, seven of crystals. So here we go. We're going to start to see some harvest. Not a ton, but enough to let you know that you're on the right path. Fabulous. I love it. With the High Priestess, secrets are being revealed. Also, if you're trying to keep some secrets, please stop it. Don't get, don't start hiding stuff. Mm. See, listen, with the Star Seed, the Star Seed is the full card in this deck. The more secrets you keep from the other people, the less transparent you are, the less with certain things. Like, I'm not saying give away trade secrets, and I'm not saying, away, saying to be like laying yourself bare all the time. But, Libra, you also have to have some level of trust in your partner. And if you don't trust them, why are you working with them? So you have to trust that they can do the job, that they can do their tasks, they can do them well, and that they have some measure of skin in this game. And if they don't, that's kind of your own fault, isn't it? Now, I'm not writing you, I'm just talking here. So don't keep secrets because um, sometimes, uh, I'll tell you, when you do, when you divulge deep wisdom that's been given to you, in um, not in a haughty way, but just in a this is what you know spirit told me. Let me tell you what happens. That other person's already heard some of that, so then that ignites within them. That activates their star seed within them, right? That activates that within them, and they're like. Yes, I heard the same thing or something very similar. And then the two of you working together can bring about big harvest, not just all this little seven of crystals harvest. Okay. Last uh, last week of the month, here we go, transformation. If you follow along with all of this, which that is the death card in, uh, that corresponds to the death card in the standard rider weight. So listen. If you go through all this and really allow yourself to be renewed and change, oh my gosh, you're going to be able to communicate and come to a decision, you two, together very quickly. You're going to change. You're going to transform. You're going to become, and here we're back at the two, at the Queen of Wands. You're going to have a very clear sense of direction. It, everything will come into balance quicker. And you won't have to be like, the queen or king of analysis paralysis. Queens of wands, they don't just sit there, honey. They keep it moving. They keep it stepping. And for the temperance card for you, my dear, which is the card for uh, Sagittarius, for you, though, temperance means move. Like the right combination of moving and, and not. Moving, movement, logic, and spirit. You got to move, though. Queens of Wands do not sit still. They have the desire and the passion, and they move it. Okay? 
the desire and the passion and they move it. That's what I have for you. I'm going to tell you something. Move. That's going to be my theme for you. Get, get it moving. You already know what you want and it's going to become even more clear throughout the month. So you've got the vision. You've already made it plain. Stop freaking out because somebody else may or may not like do things exactly the way you want them to. If it gets accomplished, then it gets accomplished. That's what the important thing is, right, Libra? But let it be accomplished. And stop freaking out. Okay. Because by the end of the month, like that wheel's turned. So we're doing a new thing. We're doing a new chapter. We're looking for transformation and becoming this wonderfully uh, spirit-led entity that really can manifest the drop of a dime. That's what we want to get to. Okay. So get to that. Focus in on that. Don't focus in on what other people may or may not be doing to your up to your standards. I'm just going to call a spade a spade. I love you, though. Really, I do. I love you, Libras. All right, guys. That's all I have for you. If you wish to work with me, that information is down below. Just check out my website. Um, Spiritual Conference, March 8th through the 10th. The link to that is down there in the description as well. Please check it out, Propelling to Purpose. If you're looking to be Reiki attuned, if you're looking to get set on and set out and just move into your purpose, you know, if you are a light worker or a light warrior, this is the place to be. Check it all out. All that information is there. Like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate all of your support. I love you guys so much. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Love you. Namaste. Bye-bye.